Thursday, uh, December 27, 2012. Rick Santelli and the Fiscal Cliff. As the last few days have gone by, I've been keeping up on the news, <clears throat> at least <clears throat> through the internet. But I just, just watched Rick Santelli. Um, they call it a rant on CNBC, but Rick Santelli from CNBC has been um, a straight shooter for, I, he's probably been on there at least 20 years. I've watched him, you know, it seems like for so long, for decades. And uh, he's angry because he sees the truth. And this other guy, more of a young guy, he's on another exchange. And he gives, you know, a lot of cogent commentary. But Rick, and then I've always appreciated Joe Kernan too. Um, they've kind of got that deep down wisdom. And Rick, you know, that Italian fire in him. Rick loves his country. He knows it's finished. And honestly... Uh, I would have to say, to put it in stock market terms, Rick is almost bullish compared to how bearish I am on um, the United States of America. But Rick really came out. He, he talked about that uh, Geithner couldn't eat, can't count. And, you know, raising the debt limit here and all this stuff, you know, of course the debt limit shouldn't be raised. It shouldn't have been raised decades ago. We are so far gone with these transfer payments and taking money from the producers and giving it to the non-producers, that it's going to collapse. The fiscal cliff, this is just just the culmination of things. And it's interesting to see how CNN and the corporate media have portrayed it. But uh, it's over. Uh, when I made my first video five years ago, for sure it's over. It's de facto over. And it is really sad that this once great country hasn't been great for 100 years, though, in my estimation. You know, ever since 1913, it's been pretty, pretty bad, just and just gradually increasing until now. It's over, and uh, the spiritual realize it and are preparing, and uh, the non-spiritual think that this thing will go on. But it's uh, the secret combinations have eaten at our substance. And we have not been faithful to what the Founding Fathers bequeathed us. This great experiment, the greatest nation in the history of the earth, is now the most malevolent, malevolent nation in the history of the earth. All the foreign wars that Washington warned about. And just, if you really think about it, there shouldn't be a deficit at all. With the modern inventions and conveniences, there shouldn't be any debt at all. There should be tremendous prosperity. People should be able to work four or five hours a day and have tremendous prosperity. But you see so many people going to work. They're like slaves, worse than slaves. And they're in debt and they're depressed and they're on drugs. And it's horrible because this country has been taken over by the secret combinations, by a great overriding conspiracy, whose objective is not the joy of man and woman. It's subjugation and control. It's the rise and fall of civilizations. Rick Santelli and I feel the same frustration. We would love this country to be doing good. But the majority of people have made choices to sink it. So, this civilization is over. It's evident to those who have studied history. To those that have studied fiat currencies. Taxation without representation. I cannot believe all the taxes. So... This once great country is destroyed. It just, we're in the death throes and we're watching it happen. And I just want to thank Rick Santelli for doing a fantastic job. And if he ever comes out here to the Rocky Mountains and it's 10 below, I would take my coat off my back and give it to, and well, it's not, let's say 10 degrees. I'd, I'd give it to Rick Santelli. He's probably used to cold up there in Chicago, though. But what a great, great patriot, great man, great straight shooter, Rick Santelli is and has been and um, so you know how do you look to the positive well it's going to be really dire and bad as we collapse the system totally collapses from the debt 
that super evil and sinister people have planned out and implemented for a couple hundred years. We were warned about it. Andrew Jackson fought a central bank, and now we have... I wish Bernanke didn't know what he's doing, but uh, they're just raising a debt to a limit that's just beyond comprehension. And um, the conspiracy is not made up of psychos. A lot of people say that. No, they're crafty. I remember reading the Hardy Boys. Clever, but not intelligent. Very clever and crafty and uh, malevolent. 2013 it will be a year of grinding economic decline, depression, and um, we're going to have to go through a few years of this stuff, but a lot of people are going to pass away. A lot of people aren't going to make it. Sad thing, most people won't make it. Scenes of um, destruction and bloodshed and rapine, starvation, even cannibalism, things that we've never seen in the history of the world are going to happen in the next couple years. But um, anyway, it's just, so I don't feel like posting, I'm just like contemplating the end of the civilization. But I just, uh, I love Rick Santelli. I love people like that. You know, when you see somebody expressing the truth with passion, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. God bless that fantastic man, Rick Santelli. And everybody else that stands for the Constitution, that stands for sanity and truth. <clears throat> There's a clear line between truth and error. And so many people compromise and compromise and compromise and compromise. And... Uh, Sadly, those people in Washington, the vast majority will compromise. People like Ron Paul, it's over. The best statesman that's been in Washington in decades, Ron Paul, is on his way out. And it's uh, with Ron Paul out, it's indicative of where this country will go. Down the tubes, down the toilet, to total destruction. It'll be worse than the collapse of the Roman Empire, which Gibbon chronicled. This is the collapse of the American Empire, the great experiment that abandoned and rejected the wisdom of the Founding Fathers.